Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys had a great weekend. If you celebrated Easter, I hope that you had so much fun, or if you did Easter egg hunts or anything like that, um, or if you just hung out with your family and watched movies. I know it was a little stormy here, which was kind of crazy, um, but I hope that you had a great, great weekend. And I missed you guys because I didn't get to see you um, or I didn't get to learn with you on Friday or Monday, except for the Zoom call. So I'm glad that we are back. Um, let's start out by saying our date today. Say so today is April 14th, 2020. Awesome job. Bonus points if you can say that all by yourself. As you can tell, I'm not in my room. Today, I'm in my living room and... Um, yeah, there's a lot better light in here. Decided to switch it up. A couple of my roommates are working at the table in our kitchen. So um, this is another room in Miss Lair's house. Anyways, today the book that we are gonna read is called The Ear Book. And on the front cover, I see a dog and I see that he has really big ears. So I wonder if this book is gonna be about some things that the dog can hear because I know that with my ears I hear with my ears um, but we'll see let's find out this is also a it's not by Dr. Seuss the author is actually Al Perkins and the illustrator is Henry Payne um, but it's part of the Dr. Seuss collection so let's get started Ooh. I see somebody in the marching band playing music and it looks like the dog is using his ears to hear that. And I see another character, a little boy as well. So I wonder if those are gonna be any main characters in our book, let's see. Remember, you should always use the pictures to predict um, first and to find out what you think the book is gonna be about. It's a really good strategy to use. If you can't read the words, read the pictures. The yearbook. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Ooh, what makes tick-tock? Ears on ears, they hear a clock. <gasps> Raise your hand if you guessed that tick-tock was a clock. Good job. Our ears hear water. Drop, drop, drop. Our ears hear popcorn. Pop, pop. We were right, it is about things that they can hear. Ears, 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 ears. It's good, it's good to hear with ears. Ooh, observe what they're looking at and hearing in this picture. I think we were also right that this little boy is also a main character in our story. He must own the dog, that's my prediction. Toot, 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 we hear a flute. Toot and flute rhyme. We hear a ding. We hear a dong. Oh my goodness, look at their faces. Whenever a bell is going off really, really close to you, it's like, wah ha, ha We hear a ping. We hear a pong. Fun game. We hear my sister sing a song. Pong and Song rhyme, good job. Uh-oh, I can tell by their faces that they're not loving their sister's singing voice. We also hear my father snore. We hear my sister slam the door. Snore, door, good job. Boom, 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 dum, dum, dum. It's good to hear a drummer drum. And sister blowing bubble gum. Drum, gum. Good job. We hear hands clap and fingers snap. We hear feet tap, 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 tap. Ooh, there's a lot of rhyming words. And look, we've got clap, snap, and tap. They're all a part of what family? The app family, good. That AP, that ending sound is what makes it a rhyming word. And clap, snap, tap, all end in app. They are in the app family. 
We hear a plane. We hear a train. It's good, it's good to hear the rain. Plane, train, rain. Ears, ears, ears. We like our ears. It's very good to hear with ears. Look at that big ear. Oh my goodness. This is the same picture that was at the very beginning. If you remember what this is called, where it starts the same way that it ends, I want you to take a video and tell me what that's called. We'll talk about it tomorrow, but it's called a... I just gave you a hint, but let me know if you remember what that is. That's a big vocabulary word that we learned about in kindergarten. It's starting the same way that it ends. Okay, boys and girls, your task today is to draw me a picture and tell me the sound that that picture makes. For example, if you draw a bell, you can say ding dong. If you draw a cat, you can say meow. Whatever you want, I wanna have a picture and a sound. And also this week and maybe some next week as well, we're gonna have some mystery reader um, help Miss Lair um, not be the only one that reads books to you. So we're gonna have some guest readers that will, or guest reader that will also read you a book um, this week and next weekend. So get excited about that. Uh, we've got a lot more books to enjoy this year and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.